What up? I'm Chef Papelka and this is the Braves Time Vlog. So I'm coming at you guys, I'm going to do a weekly Braves rant real quick, even though it hasn't really been a week and I apologize about that. Uh, I've got, you know, plenty of thoughts on the Braves, I'm going to hold off on that for a minute. Because uh, I want to reflect on some other things. Uh, yesterday was Game 7 of the World Series. Uh, when I released this, it'll have been two days since then. But first of all, I just got to say, what a World Series. Um, I don't know what you guys' experience were with it. Uh, I had a great time. I watched every single game of it. Uh, you know, And to me, like the last two months of the season were really disappointing. And I had just kind of fallen out of it. I uh, wasn't really paying attention. But I mean, I just think that was an outstanding postseason. Uh, the whole thing was just uh, a ton of fun to watch for me. Um, so yeah, I mean, I thought it was great to just have a really fun postseason, a World Series that went seven games. I was sitting there watching in Game 5, and I was with friends that you guys, I'm sure, uh, were watching Game 5, and just, I mean, what a game. I, like, and I, I love, I really relish when two bullpens fall apart in the World Series. That's, to me, a ton of fun when that happens. I remember it happened back in 2011 with the Cardinals and the Rangers. When that happens, uh, you know, I, during the game, I was I was going like, this might be better than the 2011 or the 2016 World Series. Those are the two best World Series in, in my mind. Uh, and again, I'm 21 years old. Cool. Um, but yeah, those are the best ones I've seen. I was watching this going like, this might beat those World Series. Uh, ultimately, I was disappointed by Game 7 because every game was super competitive. Game 7 just seemed too easy. Uh, I was watching in Game 7 going, like, is this it? Like, are they just going to, like, get out to this huge lead and the Dodgers aren't going to press them? But, th I mean, that's, ultimately that's what happened. And to me, that uh, knocked it down a few tiers because when I, I think back really last year, uh, Game 7 was unbelievable. Uh, that was something that will never be forgotten. I remember back in 2011, uh, you know, it was uh, Game 7 was kind of the same way. Uh, after a great Game 6. I remember 2014, Game 7 was really good, but then I was just, I was for the Royals. Uh, and Bumgarner came in, and they just, you know, they were just chasing everything Bumgarner was throwing. Uh, and so that ended disappointingly with Alex Gordon on third. But I, I want to ask you guys, uh, where does this rank for you guys? In recent memory or in your lifetime, a lot of you are older than me. Uh, you know, where does this rank as a World Series? Uh, what are the best ones that, you, uh, that come to mind with you? This is probably top three for me. Um, in terms of great World Series, uh, incredibly watchable, even though they were long. And the Astros are World Series champions. I, I mean, I, I think that's really cool, and I don't think that, like, we're really comprehending it. I'm certainly not, uh, and I'm sure that Astros fans are not, and I hope some Astros fans tune in and see this, uh, which I want to say congratulations. I think it's awesome that you guys won. Uh, I was rooting for Houston. Uh, you know, it's so cool uh, with the rebuild that was excruciating, even for non-Astros fans that had to watch it going, like, this is just cruel. Uh, you know, there's a lot that had gone on with, like, Houston not being able to watch the Houston games. Um, and obviously there have been floods in Houston. Um, and I don't, you know, I, I don't like that when we go, like, oh, a sports championship makes up for a tragedy. That's uh, not what it does. But um, I, I just thought it was great. Uh, it's one of those things with, like, the Astros are World Series champions. One, that doesn't sound right because that's never been the case before. Two... That's just one of those teams that don't win championships, which to me, that sounds super cool to say because I'm a fan of those teams. To say Atlanta Falcons, Super Bowl champions, that no one would have comprehended that. Now, let's not get into that, but, you know, Braves World Series champions. I was born, like, a month after that happened. So, for me, that's not it's not something that happens. Um, you know, the Yankees, Red Sox, there's just so much of it. So cool that the Astros were able to get this one. On to the Braves stuff. This is what this was about, is that it's the day after the World Series, and I assumed uh, that we were waiting on the day after the World Series to hear some stuff about what has been going on with the Braves. Thus far, that has not happened. Maybe it will. I thought maybe we'd have a GM announced. We don't have a GM announced. I don't even know if we have the candidates narrowed down. It seems like John Hart, who in my impression, is the one who's supposed to be hiring the guy, isn't even, like, focused on it. I, I don't know who's hiring. I still don't. And if you guys have more clarity than I do, please enlighten me. Uh, but, you know, there have been a, a number of things that have come out. One, there was a, a young scout that emailed Dave O'Brien to say that, like, Capolello is getting roasted and it's unfair. Capolello is a good guy. Uh, which I thought was really interesting to hear about uh, what Capolello was doing as the GM, really uh, communicating with people, really expressing them what they need to break into baseball. Uh, he just seems like a quality, genuine guy, but he was doing bad stuff. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, and I still, I'm waiting to determine how to feel about John Coppola. I, I would love it if he were to open up to 
uh, the media or something like that because I, I mean I just think that we as Braves fans we grew an attachment to him because of how uh, open of a guy he was. John Hart got investigated and they didn't find anything. They said that he wasn't involved in the miscarriage of justice or, or whatever. That's absurd. Come on. I, he's running the thing. I like it's again, which is worse. You know, there's that whole discussion. I think he was involved in it. Uh, I think he might have lied. I, I don't know. And, and the interesting thing about what's going on as well, you might have heard as well, is that they were trying to give Capella a severance uh, along with Jordan Blakely. Uh, they're filing a civil suit about wrongful termination now. Uh, they feel that they were wrongly terminated, which it's probably fair because they were asked to resign. I think that Blakely uh, refused to resign, and so they had to, like, I, fire? I don't know. I, it wasn't incredibly clear. Um, everything about it is fishy. Everything about it is extremely fishy. And when Capolello went out, it seemed like Capolello went out to be the fall guy, that everything would go with him. And that clearly hasn't been the case. The investigation has gone on. Uh, and they've been trying to figure out what's going on with everybody, and we all look to the person who we know who it is, which is John Hart, and you're telling me that he didn't know what was going on, and now Capolella is filing a civil suit against the Braves, a seemingly for the person that told him to resign. Who would have told him to resign besides John Hart? What seems to me that has gone on is that at first when Capolella resigned, he was the bad guy. And we said, what a, you know, what a horrible guy that, that cheated and lied and was acting different. Um, and, and everyone didn't like him. Uh, he was the bad guy that everything went with. Now, it seems to have reversed where Hart is the guy in charge of things. Things are still incredibly fishy with Hart. Uh, and he seems to be less than transparent with people. So I don't like talking about it because it makes me go like, ugh, I thought that the Braves were about, you know, something better than this. I don't know why I thought that. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody keeps expressing that they want Hart gone. I, that's, you know, the last thing, too, is that I want to know what you guys think of Hart now that all this is going on. Uh, and lastly, when they do hire someone, who do you want? I saw that they were talking to Ben Charrington. I like Ben Charrington. Um, yeah, and most of the guys that they were talking about prior to that were like uh, younger uh, guys on the come up. Charrington, of course, has been a GM in the past. So I, I am very interested to see if we can get Charrington. Uh, but ultimately, it's hard to do a ton of wrong with what the Braves have. It's the best form system in baseball. You, you know what it is. So again, I'm just going to leave you guys, uh, you know, one thing. Uh, you know, how you feeling about the Astros? I thought that that was pretty cool. How do you guys feel about that, too? Where does this World Series rank for you guys? Uh, and lastly... How do you feel about Hart, uh, and um, who are you looking at? Who would you like to have as the next GM? Uh, so yeah, let me know of all that in the comments. The point of this is really to see how you guys are feeling. i uh, really interested in all that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. I'm Trevor Pelkins, Braves Time Vlog, YouTube channel, talk about the Braves, baseball in general. Hope you enjoyed, and go Braves.